what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking joss 34 here to give you guys a full review for the multiplayer beta for black ops 3 so i did play all five days on the ps4 and um the xbox one and the pc i didn't get to play it but as far as i heard you know the first few days of the xbox one and the pc they had trouble with the connection so the ps4 side the only problem we had was with the connection on the fifth day, which they ended up giving us like a six skit day for the for the Black Ops three beta, which is good by the part of uh, you know Treyarch. And um, well, I did make a video a long time ago saying that the connection problems are gonna be you know pretty much of a big problems on day one release on Black Ops three, and it's starting to look like it is. So um, my prediction so far has been maybe true. So. Uh, the connection was uh, was kind of a, a big problem right there, and uh, hopefully they do fix it on day one because I don't want to struggle in my first days, barely connecting to anything. And also, the the way this happens is by um, like once you jump into a game, it's gonna be laggy. It's gonna be a lag fest. You can't even move. You're gonna be teleporting all over the place. That's how it's gonna feel. So the lag is gonna be kind of a problem on day one. I can already tell. Uh, the weapons. Uh, some of them are kind of OP. The one that I'm currently using right now in the back. You know, the, the background gameplay, the Vesper. Now, this one's an instant killer. Kind of similar to the Scorpion Evil of Black Ops 2. Now, that Scorpion Evil, I'm telling you right now, it was super OP because it had long range and a lot of accuracy. So, the Vesper is kind of similar to it, but it does have less accuracy than the, than the, the Scorpion Evil of Black Ops 2. So, um, yeah, there's some few weapons like the M8. Also, I've been hearing some rumors about that weapon that uh, it is kind of an instant killer also. So, um, it's maybe like a few weapons here and there. But uh, it's not all of them. All of them, like the, for example, the Cuda or the the Mano Power, like it, they all have differences. But there's only like one weapon per class that they really are OP. Um, so the weapons are not that big of a deal. I think they're alright. I think they're fine. I really didn't struggle against any other weapon out there. It's all about your accuracy, your personal accuracy, if you can actually aim. So um, like really, there's there's really no problem unless people start crying about certain, some certain weapons. Then you know, I don't know. I think those people deserve a slap in the face. So, um, anyways, yeah, the weapons are not a big problem. The maps, now, there's maybe, like, one out of the four that I played that are actually, you know, that's actually pretty much bad. The other, the rest of the maps are pretty much well done. I think they do have some rhythm, and they fall under the great category of jumping around and stuff. So, they really fall under, like, your, comfort, your comfort zone, pretty much. And uh, I feel comfort, comfortable playing all the maps except for one. I believe that's a map for ground war because it's just a pretty much of a big ass map and every time you die you just appear in the opposite side of the map and it was just bullshit because it took forever for me to get to the other side of the map just to get some objective like some domination flag and you know playing some uh, demolition you know it just took forever to get to the bomb so I'm pretty sure that map was for ground war I'm talking to the one uh, about the, the the one that you're allowed to like go underwater and stuff that one's pretty much of a big map and it just took forever. Also, it's too linear. Like, are you serious? You couldn't make it like multiple paths or something? Like, I know there's like four paths, at least four or three paths to like, get to the opposite side, but it felt to me like it was just too too basic. Like, I don't know. I just felt like they could have added more to it. But it was fun to go underwater, though. That, that's a good thing. I believe that was supposed to happen in Call of Duty Ghosts, because I know in Call of Duty Ghosts they talked about like how you can go underwater and, you know, all of a sudden it wasn't in the multiplayer cut. So. That was kind of weird uh, when we finally got to see it in Black Ops 2. So that that underwater experience was kind of cool. Um, another thing was the paint shop. It was quite limited to edit every single gun. Like you guys saw my paint shop, and it wasn't that customizable. It really wasn't. You can literally see like some black parts of the of the weapon like covering some part of your paint, and I was like, why bother? making some paint shop for a weapon that can't even give you the whole fucking weapon like i know there's the gold option that you can turn some logo into gold sometimes i mean if the gold option is already given out that means we're not gonna we're not ever gonna make our gun gold so there's like, like really no point to living up our weapons only for attachments from now on which kind of sucks because kills it kills some of the traditional style because i know Back in the day, people like to like use several weapons just to level them, level them up, and uh, you know get the gold camo for the weapon. But I, I believe this series is really not worth it. So um, that's good. No, sometimes it's good because I know in Black Ops 2 you can get a golden rocket, and I was like, fucking shit. I know people are gonna be using that piece of crap like every single day just to get the gold thing. So um, good thing that they didn't do it for the rockets, but. Um, overall, I think it was kind of a bad experience in the paint shop. I mean, they really need to like make the whole gun customizable. Make it the whole the whole gun, 
I don't want parts. I want the whole gun. So if they can make the whole gun, you know, customizable for the paint shop, that will be good. But as far as I know, it's really not that worth of a of a big deal. I mean, you can you have more layers than usual, but it's really not that big of a deal. The the regular emblems, I haven't even customized it because they didn't give me the option. I mean, I, I never unlocked it. The farthest I got was level 41, I believe. So, like, really, like, I really have no idea what's up with the emblems. Um, another thing uh, was the mechanics and the movements of the character. Um, they were kind of wompy in the first day. But later on, I got used to it. But they were still wompy. Like, it was just sluggish. I felt super slow compared to any other game that I played before. Black Ops 2 was kind of quick. And, um, you know... Advanced Warfare was super fast. I believe that was the fastest game I ever played in. And Black Ops 2 was slow. Even with an SMG, I mean, I always said this before, that with the SMG, you actually, you can actually run faster, but there was no difference. Like, I would carry, like, an assault rifle, an LMG, and a sniper, and they all felt the same in speed. I was like, where's the speed, bro? There's no speed difference. Everybody runs the same way. So, that is a big problem. Because especially if we don't even have a perk for lightweight. I mean... Where the fuck is it? No, so, so that's a, kind of a big problem because I felt super sluggish. I felt slow. Even with the stock attachment, even with some certain attachments that allows me to run fast or aim fast or something, I still don't feel fast. I feel super slow. So, um, so that was kind of a problem for me because, you know, I'm a rusher and rushers need speed. And I, I just never felt it. So, uh, speed was kind of a big problem for me, um, but for the rest of you, I'm pretty sure it's not, because I know most of you guys are, like, you know, kind of average out there strategically and stuff. They're approaching areas like that, so, uh, the wall running was kind of, like, also kind of wompy, like, it wasn't even there half of the time. Like, I try to wall, wall run sometimes, and sometimes it will, like, I'll fall out, like, what the hell, like, I'm, I'm, am I not supposed to, like, hold the analog stick towards the wall, which I did, but then all of a sudden, it's just, like, it's just, like, Un, un, like unstuck like what the hell like it just fell down so the wall running is not consistent sometimes um another thing is you cannot combo the wall run like even though you just jump like from wall to wall you don't go faster according to some of the trailers that was here before and uh, before the beta release um you, they said you can like wall combo and you'll go faster which is total bullshit you just don't that was just utter bullshit so they bullshitted us about that um and that's about it. The equipment, I believe the the hacking equipment, which is that black hat, I'm not sure how it's called. Uh, I think it's OP. I think it's really unfair that you, you get to hack a freaking spy plane and a counter UAV. Are you fucking serious? That one pissed me off the most because I was like, are you fucking serious? These people didn't deserve a fucking UAV and you're telling them they can actually hack that shit? That kind of pissed me off because I was like, fuck those people. These are the kind of people that never get a kill streak. So, that was kind of OP. I think they should tone it down to, like, not even fucking heck, a flying kill streak. That's not fair. So, um, that kind of pissed me off, man. I'm telling you right now. So, that's my review for Black Ops 3 Beta. I believe the score, I'll give it, like, a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, it could have been better. Only if they were, like, uh, to give us, like, a perk for Lightweight, maybe. And also, they need to tone down the Black Hat. And, um, what else do we have here? The weapons... They're pretty good and all, but I mean, they hopefully do add more DLC weapons because uh, I would like to customize more. All of them are customizable, they're usable for now, but as far as I heard, there's some rumors going around that Vonderhaar will tone down every single weapon and also will tone down the personal kill streaks that your character has. Like the specialist kill streaks. They're, they're all good. I like them. I like that they're here and stuff, but I heard there's a rumor that Vonderhaar will add two more kills or one more kill in order for you to earn your special kill streak are you fucking kidding me it's gonna be black ops 2 all over again where only the snipers are overpowered and i don't know man i, I will talk about it in another video hopefully i can get some uh, evidence about that so you guys can see that vonderhaar will fuck up this game on release day so uh that is it guys i give the, the a score of 7.5 out of 10 and i know it's a beta and all but i want to give the beta in total like a 7.5 out of 10 um, it is better than Call of Duty Advanced Warfare right now. It is better than Call of Duty Ghost also. So, uh, that's pretty much can give you like a, like a total rating right there. So that is it guys. If you guys agree with me, if you guys disagree, let me know in the comment section. Also, if you guys like this video, make sure you leave a like. So I'll see you guys later and, um, subscribe for more for more Black Ops 3 multiplayer.